I think JoJo said it best. You know it's just too little, too late. Did you realize that you were a champion in their Subscribe to the members of ISN. What's going on, guys? My name is Derek, and this is the Gridiron Blitz. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel because here we talk all things football. Well, after free agency, the draft, and passing on the second round of free agency, according to Adam Schefter, the Detroit Lions have brought in Jabal Sheard, a former New England Patriot, for a workout at the defensive end position. According to a tweet from Adam Schefter, veteran free agent, defensive end Jabal Sheard, who has been waiting for the right opportunity and deal, is visiting with the Lions for a potential reunion in Detroit with head coach Matt Patricia and GM Bob Quinn, per source. They all won a Super Bowl together in New England. Now, Jabal Sheard was one of those guys, I would say, that was in the middle tier of defensive ends that were available this free agency. It would probably be Clowney, Griffin, maybe another guy, and then Jabal. Jabal Sheard is a defensive end that has been in the league for over 10 years now. He's 31 years of age, and he's been playing since 2011. Now, you know, I don't know how to really feel about this. The Detroit Lions start the season 0-2, and they have to have the worst defense in the league, pass and rush. We are very, very scarce at defensive end with only three actual defensive ends on the entire roster. The Detroit Lions decided not to really address the defensive end position in this past draft, taking a defensive end with the seventh round pick. I don't even know if he's still on the team. Now, guys, I don't really know about you as a Detroit Lions fan, but I am sick to death of hearing about former New England Patriots and winning a Super Bowl. We had a coach not too long ago say that he made the best call, defensive call, in Super Bowl history. Now, you know that I feel some type of way. On one hand, you pass on an Everson Griffin, and you go and now, two weeks into the season, take a look at Jabal Sheard. At this point, you've got to get anybody in here. Now, you might be asking, why isn't Julian playing? Well, Julian was drafted as an outside linebacker. I guess he fits in Patricia's hybrid scheme system. I have always wanted a pure defensive end to be opposite Trey Flowers. Maybe Matt Patricia is going away from the hybrid defense. I don't know about you, but it looked as though in the Green Bay game, they start to bring four instead of three. I don't know if this is what it is. However, something needs to be done. I think at this point, Matt Patricia is in desperation mode and he's trying to bring in anyone he can in order to help out what is a poor defensive pass rush. I feel like it's pretty ironic. We, we pass on Everson Griffin, who is also 31, 32 years old, and he was drafted the same year Jabal was as well. Maybe Everson Griffin never wanted to come here. You guys know that I was that was the defensive end I was very high on. And I still wish he was a Detroit Lion. The ball was drafted in 2011 by the Cleveland Browns. And he has had at least one sack in every year that he's been in the National Football League. With his high being in 2011 when he had eight and a half. He also had seven the year after that. And last year he had 4.5. In the two years that Jabal was in New England, he amassed 13 sacks. He had 4.5 last year. He's not a slouch. However, my question is, why? It's you draft a defensive end in the seventh round. It does not appear that the Detroit Lions and the defensive end position is very high on their radar. After you pass, I don't even know if the seventh round pick is still in the team. But at this point, guys, you have to do what you have to do. Matt Patricia might know that his job is on the line, even though he was reassured in the offseason in that he was fine. But after an 0-2 start, a potential for 13 consecutive losses, 
and being 14 out of the last 15, something like that in losses, it might be time to reach in your bag of tricks and do whatever you can in order to solidify a horrendous defense. Here's a question that I have for Detroit Lions fans. Do you like this signing? Do you care? Also, do you feel that a Marcel Darius could be on the radar as well? We still need a defensive tackle to help shore up the middle of the field. My name is Derek, and this is the Gridiron Blitz. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell and set reminders because we do live streams and watch parties and have live shows as well. I want you guys to take care of yourself, wash your hands, and stay safe because I want to see you in the next video. Oh,